Record Store Day 2018 in my little neighborhood. We got a good little cafe here that's excellent. My record store is over this way. Uh, it's about 9.30. The store doesn't open till 10. I may be the first one in line just showing you guys in New York how it's done. Opens at 10 o'clock. It's about 9.40. Looks like what? Maybe 30 people in line. This was my first record store day where I got there before the store opened and wait in line. Little short video you saw there. There may have been 30 to 40 people in line when I got there a half hour early. And by the time the doors opened, there were maybe 75 people in line. And they open the door and everybody rushes in and it's a mad scramble. It was an interesting experience. And uh, I'll show you what I got from Record Store Day just very quickly. Uh, if you spend over $100, you get uh, the, they have a name for it, first class something bag. The record store day bag but interesting to me being there the first time uh, you got a bunch of other stuff for free in the bag and one of them certified classics volume one sorry for the glare here just doing a quick uh, video seven inch Detroit uh, from the movie in theaters August the 4th. Uh, free. Got some stickers. I think this is a download card for something. And uh, the part in the freebie that got my attention Ugly God. The booty tapes out now. Yep, that was good advertising. I'm going to take a look for that. And not only that, another thing in the bag. Ugly God pins. Uh, four of them. That's fun. Also got... Run the Jewels Record Store Day pin. Not done yet. This is a good idea. CD. How many? About 20 tracks. The music you'll be looking for on a future trip to the record store. That's a good way to advertise. Another advertising CD, free, Warner Brothers, the new whole Bur Bur Burbank catalog, uh, Bad Behavior, Big Cheese, Parental Advisory, CD. Uh, I watch quite a few of these videos. I don't, I think all the stores have some little, uh, Stuff that they give out. Another sticker. Sage the Gemini. And uh, anti-social media. Parental advisory. So um, I will show the records next very quickly. And just a little bit of talk about my experience in uh, the mass confusion that goes on when they let... Uh, 60, 70 people into a few small bins all at the same time. Show you real quick what I got. Uh, I wasn't all that excited about anything in particular. I always want to go over and buy a couple records no matter what, kind of support the idea in the local record stores. I did watch a bunch of pre videos where people dealers showed this stuff so you could get an idea. Probably my first choice was the Rolling Stones, the uh, one with the uh, uh, 
lenticular cover. I don't have that record. Uh, if they had them there, the first few people grabbed those things probably for resale. It's just kind of a mass when you get in there and uh, the people that were in the front of the line were just literally grabbing fistfuls of records, surprisingly. But uh, this is one I didn't uh, didn't have on my list, didn't look at, but happened to see it. Jeff Beck, Truth. One of the reasons, you know, I'm not familiar with this record, but Jeff Beck can't be bad, and it's a 180 gram audio file premium pressing from RTI. So between Jeff Beck and uh, audio file record, you know that had to be good. Now here's one I wanted, one that was on my list. Uh, twenty nine ninety eight. You guys saw that Jeff Beck was thirty two dollars. Ella at Zardy's live. Ella, I think this was her first uh, stuff that she did for Verve before they put out a record, limited edition color vinyl. This is one I wanted. The funny thing is, I'm looking, I'm crowding around. And uh, I'm just kind of standing back a little bit. And there's another guy standing back there, and he's holding this record. I said, oh, Ella, that's one I wanted. You got that. He said, I was thinking about putting it back. I said, I would love to have it. He handed it to me. So maybe the easiest way to get the record you want at record store day is just to stand to the back of the crowd and pick from the people who has already picked. So this... Uh, uh, after the Rolling Stones record, this probably would have been my next pick, and I got it just standing back, and I never saw another copy at that store, and then I watched a video yesterday, I didn't know anything about this record, uh, Arcade Fire, but I saw a guy show this record and talk about it and so forth, and I thought, okay, that sounds interesting, uh, you know, $18.98, $19, and uh, I'll give that a shot. Another one that was on my list, probably at the top of my list after the Rolling Stones, Chuck Berry's Greatest Hits, Sunday's Record. Uh, I've got several Chuck Berry's. i got some original Chuck Berry's. 45s from the 50s that I bought when they come out, but this one, $25.99, the choicest chess cuts. I thought uh, this will be good. This will be a fun record to have, and it wasn't expensive. Another one that was on my list, people are digging, and uh, I'm trying to look over their shoulder, and from a little distance, even with my glasses, it's hard to see what the records are. I don't see that good, but one of the ones I saw, oh, I'd like to have this one, Dave Van Ronk. Well, I stopped somebody digging, and I reached over and pulled this one out. I didn't see another one. First time on vinyl, 1967 live recording, live at Sir George Williams University, $22.98. Uh, I was happy to get this one. I, I figured, well, I'll pick up a couple records, but I ended up getting five records. Uh, more than enough and really got anything I wanted except maybe for the one and uh, that Rolling Stones I think has been recently reissued on audio file record anyway so I'll pick it up someplace and uh, what I found in the last couple years if you want something uh, unless it was really high demand rarity you can just wait a week and pick it up off of eBay for about the same price you don't have to wait in line so that's my experience at an official record store day. Now we're going to go down to the other part of town where it's a different kind of record store day. But to show this, the official record store day poster, Dogfish Head, analog beer for the digital age. I'm a beer drinker. I like beer. I don't drink very much. Got some nice artwork. They're listening to some tunes and spinning some vinyl. I don't know what I'll do with this, but you know, it was free. For Record Store 2018 Day videos, 
Yep, now I'm over to the other side of the railroad tracks. Over to the other part of town. You know, the dumpy part of town where they sell beer and wine and liquor and uh, of course that's where my store's located so yeah we've been up we've been uptown now we're out of town to support my local store down across the tracks uh, he's not a, a regular new record dealer so he doesn't get record store day merchandise but he always has a sale and we always have fun uh, three or four of the guys I saw over at the other store there that uh, showed up and we were having more fun because it wasn't quite so crowded a little more casual everybody looking at records and talking about music I'm going to go through these really quick and I like to try a lot of different stuff and uh, I want to help support my buddy down at the local store keep him open I got two freebies there and he always has 20% off I get 20% off all the time anyway I'm probably one of his best customers I don't collect 7 inch Tiffany I think we're alone now laying on the counter uh, Linda Ronstadt still in the shrink I collect Linda Ronstadt. i <clears throat> never seen that record before. Those were my freebies. I want to go through these quick because uh, this is kind of a fun group of records. Bongo Madness. 1957 Mono Latin Jazz Mambo. Hey, pretty Chinese girl. Sally Ye. Sweet Words, 1987 from Hong Kong. Going to give that one a try. This was the most expensive record in the group. I think he had this one up on Discogs. He had to go to the computer and take it down. Uh, 71 U.S. Relief, Release Afro Cuban Jazz Funk Latin Jazz. Uh, and you know cheesecake I think right behind that was Beth Carvalho or cheesecake these were in the Latin section don't know what this is but uh, this says 1985 Brazil import classes in session Memphis Slim Mother Earth a little psych type cover here. We might have some psych blues piano. Who knows? Now, Kendrick Lamar, a lot of people last year picked him as the record of the year. And as you might imagine, hip hop is the weakest part of my collection. And so a couple of the guys I saw at the other store, the young kids, they were big hip hop. They were looking at the records and talking about them. And uh, I said, uh, pick me a, your favorite hip-hop record that he has for sale over there. This is a new record, uh, Kendrick Lamar, short film. Uh, can't even read the name of it. But anyway, I almost ordered that one that everybody showed as the top record of the year. So class is in session. Got to learn a little bit about hip hop. Sam and Dave Soul Men, new record again, Stacks reissue. Good movie. Another new record reissue. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? <laughs> that was a good movie. Good music in there. 1958 Mono Original. Columbia, Lady in Satin, Billy Holiday. Liking some Billy Holiday. Hank Williams Jr., Montana Cafe, Good Eats. That sounds like a place where I'd like to eat. Gonna get some some Hank Jr. You might as well get Merle's best hits. I mean this is not just any hits, this is his best hits. 
and uh, kind in the cheesecake and kind in I like this person anyway and beautiful trauma uh, new sealed record pink and the interesting records, the young kids in the store there digging through stuff, they pulled this one out. They asked me, did I know about this? It's another new record. I did not know about it. It's supposed to be the best soul you ever heard. A new reissue here. D'Angelo and the Vanguard, Black Messiah. Okay. I took those kids' word that this is a fantastic record and you, you need it in your collection. And I got some Corn on Macabre, Discographic Violence, 2013 U.S. compilation of Grindcore. I don't know what Grindcore is, but class is in session. And at any rate, I love the cover. That's a kind of a rural country farm scene with an old house, a barn, a windmill. I don't know if that's a nice sunset or a scary sunrise and I've been you know collecting Bob Dylan uh, his greatest hits 1967 original Columbia 2i and VG plus so gonna have fun listen to this one and I'm getting ready to do a video maybe about it ain't me babe uh, so that's what I got at record store day down across the tracks those records probably going to be more fun